Hello everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. The big question here is, can you connect your PV, that's your solar panels, directly to your batteries? Is that something that can be done? So I got a call over the weekend from a distressed homeowner. He's had installations done for him by an installer, but he wasn't getting the best out of the installation. So according to him, he says his battery goes off every 9 p.m. Ouch! All right, meaning that the battery wasn't holding off enough charge and he was very worried. I mean, he has spent some money trying to get these things together, inverter, charge controllers, and the PVs. So he has four batteries and he has nine solar panels. So this was the installation that was done for him but his battery wasn't holding on to charge or there's just basically something wrong in the system. The system goes off every day, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. religiously. And that can be very painful. <laughs> so this continued over time. He was very sad about the situation and he kept calling his installer to come and find out what the problem was. The installer always came around each time he was called to check out what exactly was going on, but he always left without solving the problem. He wasn't quite sure what was going on. All right, the batteries were brand new, the solar panels were brand new, but he wasn't sure exactly what the problem was. So after a while, he lost patience with the first installer. I mean, that's pretty much <laughs> human. All right, so he decided to seek the opinion of a second installer and it caused a second installer for him to move in and check this thing out since the first installer wasn't solving his problem. And the second installer walks in with all confidence. He just pretty much goes to the installation, moves around it, checks it out, and he says to the man, I think I might know what the problem is with your installation. I think that your charge controller might not be allowing energy to get to the battery as much as it should. And this gentleman does the unthinkable. He goes to the installation, he disconnects the charge controller, and <sighs> this is sad to say, but he disconnected the charge controller and he connected the PVs, that's the solar panels, directly to the batteries. Now, is this such a good idea? Have you done anything like this before? Have you ever given it a thought that you could connect your PV straight to your batteries to maximize the performance of your solar system? If you have, leave a comment below and tell me what your experience was. But firstly, before I tell you guys what happened when he connected the solar panels directly to the batteries, let's look at the function of a charge controller and why we need a charge controller in the first place. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, all right? This is how you support us. And of course, the more you subscribe, the more we can reach out to more people. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. So here is a charge controller. So one might ask, what exactly is the function of a charge controller? Do we need a charge controller in the first place? Why do we have to spend so much money um, getting a charge controller when we can actually connect the PV straight to the battery? Because it's assumed that naturally, um, the average installer should know what the charge controller does or what the essence of a charge controller is in a solar system. All right, so the charge controller is that component that sits in between your PV, that's your solar panels and your batteries. Its job is to regulate the energy that comes from the solar panel, you know, to be able to charge the battery and not damage the battery. So the charge controller is able to convert to different voltages for your batteries. So if your battery is a 12 volt battery, it's gonna give you 12 volt battery to be able to charge your battery and ensure that um, it doesn't damage the battery. So if your battery configuration is a 24 volt battery system, it will also ensure that the battery is giving a 24 volt charge. All right, so for instance, if you connect your battery to your charge controller, it will automatically detect the voltage of your battery system. So if your battery system is 24 volt system, it is going to give it a 24 volt system charge. If your system is a 48 volt system charge, it's gonna give it a 48 volt system charge. And so applies to a 12 volt system as well. So that is the function of the charge controller. All right, of course it goes beyond that. It also has a whole lot of other functions. So knowing this and having this information as an installer, why would you wanna remove the charge controller and connect your PV straight to your batteries? It beats me. I wouldn't know why anybody would do that. So let me tell you essentially what has happened because when he connected the PV straight to the batteries, the situation became even worse. If you remember what I said earlier, 
the battery goes off around 9 to 10 p.m. every day religiously. Now it was barely making it to 8 o'clock. Because when the gentleman connected the PVs of the solar system straight to the batteries, the situation became worse as opposed to improving. Now, let me tell you guys exactly what has happened. Every system has its voltage system. You can have a 6-volt system. You can have a 12-volt system. You can have a 24-volt system. You can also have a 48-volt system. So if your system is a 12 volt system, for instance, all right, so let's assume that we're using a 12 volt system here. That's why I got in a solar panel here to be able to explain to you guys. So if your system is a 12 volt system and you disconnect the charge controller from your batteries, this is essentially what is going to happen. Right here is um, a 100 watt solar panel, all right? So right here, it has a voltage of 19.2 volts. So you usually have this ticker that tells you what the wattage of the solar panel is, and of course the voltage as well, open circuit voltage and all of that. Now, the voltage of this solar panel is 19.2 volts. Now, imagine if you connect this solar panel directly to this battery, and this solar panel is operating at 19.2 volts, and this battery is 12 volts. That means you're using 19.2 volts to charge a 12 volt battery. You will destroy the cells, because every battery has a charge max limit. So for a 12 volt battery, your max charge limit should be around 15 volts. And that is one of the very important functions of a charge controller because the minute you connect your battery to your charge controller, it will automatically detect this, your system voltage. All right, so if your system voltage is 12 volts, it's gonna detect it. So the charges it's gonna be supplying to your battery will not be above the threshold recommended for the charge voltage for your 12 volt battery. So when you connect your PV straight to your batteries, there's no form of control. You're gonna be charging it with the full value or the full voltage of the solar panel to charge the battery. In that situation, you will damage the battery. So what the gentleman essentially did, I mean, the second installer that was called in to come and check to see what the problem was with the installation, what he essentially did was he used three in series. And of course, uh, the solar panel should be around 250 watts each thereabout. Now, when you have 250 watts, the voltage should be around 42 volts. So 42 volts connected in series should be giving you somewhere around 100 or 110, depending on the fluctuations of the sun. So what you have essentially done is that you've connected 110 volts to a 48 volt system. That is suicide. You completely destroy the battery by doing that connections because that is the reason why you need a charge controller. And a charge controller would never have allowed the voltage that high to get to the battery because it's been configured not to give it above the max voltage threshold that has been recommended for the batteries. So what he did in that situation immediately is that he damaged the cells of the batteries and rendered them unusable. You're going to have to sell the batteries as scrap because you'll never be able to revive the batteries because the cells of the batteries are damaged. So, but let us look at how we could have solved the problem of the battery not holding up. What and what should we suspect? All right. So what we needed to suspect is the wiring, the configurations of the solar panel. Was it connected well? Is it losing contact at some end? What kind of cable did they use to do the connection? Was the connections done properly for the energy to be able to come down from the solar panels and get to the batteries? All right. Because if you do the wrong configuration, you're going to have a problem in a place where you're supposed to do three in series and you do two in series, you're not going to have enough energy to charge those batteries. These were the things that they could have suspected. It could come from anywhere. It could come from the settings from your charge controller. It could come from anywhere, all right? But certainly not by removing the charge controller to be able to connect your PV straight to your batteries. That was a no-no. That should never have happened in the first place. Thank you so very much, guys, for being part of this. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, all right? This is how you support us. And of course, the more you subscribe, the more we can reach out to more people. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. See you guys in the next video.